The leaders of the biggest social media platforms face judgment on Capitol Hill today as they testify before a Senate Judiciary Committee. The topic, sexual exploitation and social media. Not all the CEOs were willing participants. Some had to be subpoenaed. In a Senate hearing room packed with family members who say their kids were harmed by social media. How many more kids like Matthew? Like Olivia. Like Riley. How many more kids will suffer and die because of social media? Swearing in the CEOs of Meta, TikTok, X and other social media companies facing the anger of lawmakers increasingly concerned about the impact of their companies on the lives of young their people. Their constant pursuit of engagement and profit over basic safety have all put our kids and grandkids at risk. The companies before us, I know you don't mean to, it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. The social media executives say they are stepping up measures to protect their users, working with law enforcement and using AI to identify harmful content. Safety is one of the core priorities that defines TikTok under my leadership. We currently have more than 40,000 trust and safety professionals working to protect our community globally. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg pressed to apologize to families in the room. They're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? Lawmakers and parents argue they're not doing enough to stop child exploitation and drug dealing on their platforms, and they're pushing a slew of bills to hold social media companies accountable. I'm so tired of this. It's been 28 years, what, since the Internet? We haven't passed any of these bills because everyone's double talk, double talk. It's time to actually pass them. The push for change coming from both sides of the aisle, but the deep-pocketed social media companies are powerful and hold considerable sway. And Democratic Chairman Dick Durbin called this a moment of reckoning and urged a vote on legislation to protect children on social media.